Welcome back to Passion Struck Clips. In this short video, I'm going to be exploring three ways you can break free from savior complex. The desire to help other people is a noble trait, but when it becomes an overwhelming need to constantly rescue or save people, it can develop into a savior complex. A savior complex can lead to emotional exhaustion, strained relationship, and even a diminished sense of self-worth. If you find yourself caught in the web of savior complex, it's essential to learn how to break free and regain a healthier perspective on helping others. Let's explore three effective ways to do just that. The first is self-reflection and awareness. The first step is to take time to analyze your motivations and behaviors when it comes to helping others. Ask yourself, why do I feel the need to save or rescue people? What emotions drive this behavior? Is it guilt, a need for validation, or a fear of rejection? Am I neglecting my own well-being and needs in the process? By understanding the root causes of your savior complex, you can begin to understand and challenge these underlying beliefs. Journaling or talking to a therapist may also be helpful throughout this process. Recognizing your patterns of behavior is the first step towards lasting change. Second, setting boundaries. One of the key challenges with individuals who have a savior complex is setting healthy boundaries. It's essential to understand that you cannot save or rescue you everyone and doing so can lead to frustration and burnout to break free from the savior complex you need to establish clear boundaries for yourself. Learn to say no when necessary. Understand that it's okay to decline help or rescue missions when you're feeling overwhelmed or when it's not your responsibility. Communicate your boundaries to others. Let them know what you can and cannot do and be assertive about your limits. Prioritize self-care. Focus on your physical and emotional well-being and make self-care a non-negotiable part of your routine. Setting and maintaining boundaries will not only help you protect your mental health, but it will also promote healthier relationships with those that you care about. It's a crucial step in breaking free from the savior complex. Empower and support, don't rescue. Instead of rushing to save or rescue others, shift your focus towards empowering and supporting them. Understand that people have their own agency as well as capacity for growth. Here's how you can make this shift. Offer guidance and assistance when it's asked for or is appropriate, but avoid taking over or making decisions for others. Encourage independence and self-sufficiency in the people that you care about. Provide resources and support, but let them take the lead in their own lives. Practice active listening and empathy. Sometimes all someone needs is a compassionate ear to listen without judgment. By empowering others to take control of their lives, you not only help them grow, but also reduce the burden of the savior complex on yourself. Remember that genuine support respects personal autonomy and builds capacity rather than fostering dependency. Breaking free from savior complex, let's face it, it's a journey that requires self-awareness, boundary setting, as well as a shift in perspective. While the desire to help others is admirable, it should not ever come at the expense of your own well-being or the independence of those that you care about. By practicing self-reflection, setting boundaries, and focusing on empowerment rather than rescue, you can break the cycle of the savior complex and lead a more fulfilling and balanced life. Thank you so much for watching today's short video. And don't forget to subscribe to our other two channels for insightful content on personal growth and navigating life's journey. Until next time, live life passion-struck.